Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to episode number two of our first look at Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks, a um, military business management sim, uh, which puts you in the shoes of basically an industrialist who commands a, uh, ta a tank company uh, at the, the advent of tanks. And so in this game, you design tanks, you manage resources like you would in any other tycoon game, you have to import resources, you bid on contracts, and then you've got to deliver your finished product, you know, sooner sooner than the deadline. Speaking of deadlines, we're picking things up where we left off after yesterday's video, which was at the uh, sort of beginning or end of our negotiating for um, our first contract to try and win some tanks. It would appear that the AI's design is better than ours as they seem to have a substantial advantage in terms of the likelihood of them winning the contract. And so I was kind of fiddling around with buttons toward the end to figure out what to do and just decided the only real way for me to win this shy of trying to design a new tank but not having enough time to do it is to just drop the price. It'll still be profitable and win the contract that way. Uh, and that's what we're going to do in today's video. But let's go ahead and pick things up where we left off. This was taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel a couple of days ago. Oh, and before I go... Uh, Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks is developed by Fun Guy, uh, which is the name of the developer and published by Microprose Software. So hope you guys enjoy. Links in the description and let's jump back in. Yeah. All right. So. All right, that gets me into the window to win this contract. So their success chances between 377 and 412, my success chance is apparently known perfectly at 413. So they don't really love the tank, but they like the price and they like the date. They like if I produce more. Doesn't seem they really care about more. So... 20 tanks at 27,000. That should still give me about 7,000. I'm, I'm, I'm ballparking, but about 7,000 profit. All right. Now, I guess, do I start making the tanks now just to make sure that like I can hit the, hit the date I said I could hit? I don't see the point in producing extras though. Like, I guess it increases my profits a little bit. Maybe that's the one advantage to producing more tanks. So the total production cost here is going to be 301 for 20. Did I mess that up? If we go, so this says the total cost is 301.04. We're charging 27,500 per. Okay, so this would be half a million in revenue. That would exceed cost comfortably. So let's go ahead and build the damn things, I guess. Let's just start. Let's gamble. We better win this contract or we're going to be bankrupt real fast. But things can come up that can delay your construction and other things like that. So I already committed to a December 1st date, so they better pick me.
Okay. I think we'll find out in two days. Accept it! Woo! Yay! Yeah, there was there was another tank, but we won the contract, boys. So get cracking. So you can see this tank is under construction now. 720,000 in revenues. Expenses well well less than that. We undercut their price. How often <laughs> when does that happen? Hey, military, we'd like to spend this amount of money on a tank. Okay, we'll we'll beat your price. <laughs> Since when? Uh 57 days remaining. Well, it's gonna take us 40 days to produce. That leaves us 17 days to ship. We can probably save a little bit of money on shipping too by going with a cheaper option. Since we'll have a little bit of a buffer in time. I'm waiting for this research to be done and then maybe we will design a new tank. So petrol octane 47 is done. So we've got a tank option with better fuel, better tracks, better ammo. Better mobility. Um, maybe we want to do better armor. It'll be a little bit more resistant. And then at that point, after, after that point, the 30, so the construction of this tank, so we wouldn't even be able to take orders for more tanks at this point. Because for the next, we only have one assembly line stood up. We can expand it eventually, but we only have one assembly line stood up. And it's going to take us 34 days to, to complete that line. 30 days to research this item. So I think we're good there. Daimler Mot Motoron Geschelfest. The rationalized tank. Okay. Interesting DPRK. I did not know that. That is fairly rare. That you would have a contract considerably beaten. Colonel Estein's appeal. French Colonel Jean Baptiste Eugene Estein today has made an official statement to the officers of his regiments. Gentlemen, victory will belong to the first nation to be able to put 75 millimeter gun onto an all-terrain vehicle called for the rapid development and deployment of the so-called gun-carrying caterpillars. Maybe you should buy my tanks. I'll stand up another assembly line if I, if I have to. I don't know how you do that. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of tanks being designed, it would seem. Do you have the opportunity to call them something other than tanks? I don't know. Why not? In order to meet demand, we must purchase more raw materials. I've already purchased more raw materials. I know how that works. I mean, you really want me to, to purchase more raw materials? I can, but I already did that. I suppose since there's no... What's the cheapest iron we can find? Oceana? Or Africa? Africa gets us to... Gets them to us faster. Has a higher probability of delays. Alright, so we can buy up to 9,000 iron from Africa. So we will buy... I like round numbers. 7,000 and two. 
I don't really know. So how many total is this? 17.98 thousand. So is that 17,980? In which case, 7,200, I think. Why can't I do that? Oh, that's more than... I'll have a lot of cash just sitting around to invest in more products, though. A pretty good price on medium carbon steel, too. What about rubber? Where's... Rubber is seven. I think Oceana would have the cheapest rubber price. It just seems that Oceana and, Af and Africa have the same prices, and it's just a matter of which is safer, which seems silly. But All right, I think I've got sufficient glass. I guess we'll buy 460. We didn't use a ton. So this will all cost $47,000. That's a considerable chunk of my money, but I'd rather have this stuff flowing so that if another order comes in, we'll already have material so that we can immediately start filling it. The risk of incentivizing coming in under contract uh, mayonnaise in a lot of government type work is you have situations where companies will deliberately lowball a price they know they can't possibly hit to win the contract and then you know they'll they'll CR it to death and, and add you know incrementally get their money back in other ways. Projected balance is 53,000 at the end of the month. Yikes. Finish those tanks, boys. I'm not going to send the stuff yet. I'm waiting for the, the order to complete in full. Nice try, tutorial. Nice try. All right, we completed the new steel research. That's nice. So now maybe we'll look at designing a new tank. All right, so let's go to the warehouse. Uh, please tell me I don't have to wait for that order to come in. To ship something out. Oh, no. I have to wait? What? How does that make any sense? Well, let's see. Wait a minute. That's not what I want. I'm in the wrong spot. Okay, let's deliver 20. First Battalion, British Empire. So... Medium safety. Maximum delay is seven days. So I think 
I should be safe here because if I issue this order, it'll be done in eight days, which is the 21st. If there is a delay, it'll be seven days, which would be the 28th. And I would still hit that order early. Well, the risk of the top guy is it's a slower delivery, so it wouldn't arrive till the 25th. The orders are due the first. So if the seven day delay would like put it right at missing the missing the delivery. These other guys are faster. This guy's way cheap. Too slow. Thought it's, I thought I agreed to doing the order on the first, though. If there's a problem with the shipment, I can push you out and be late. I think Rochelle Company is... the best option, because even if it is late... Even if there's a late delivery, it still should arrive on time. And it's, what, the middle price option? So I'm not gouging myself too much. I, pr I priced the 3000 price per unit into my bid. There is another option down here. William & Partners, high safety... Delivery speed slow, but high safety and medium cost. So definitely Rochelle Company, I think, is the best option here. Can you make more modern takes later in the game? Yes, the, the game, but not like to modern day yet. The game goes to 34, so. Okay. Eight days left. So let's go back to the factory for maybe. Ah. All right. I don't have any money. I'm not going to have any money, right? We got $28,000 left. Do we want to research something else while we wait for the delivery to go through? We did research RHA steel. Medium hull would open up like small to medium tanks. which could be applicable for certain order types. Actually, before we do that, engineering, let's reverse it. Oh, no rival tanks available to reverse engineer. I'm kind of confused here. So this is All right, go to the design screen or engineering screen. We got the raw so right now we're the mark 1, but if we go to raw iron, we do this, this become mark 2. Yeah, mark 2. Okay, so it becomes the mark 2 hull. RHA steel. It's the only thing on this object that we've upgraded, right? Okay. 
So it's a draft. Okay. It's basically the Mark II hull sign. So we're going to start working on the Mark II hull. It'll be heavier, but it should be more resilient to enemy fire. I would think. Doesn't cost too much to do that research. While we're doing that, we're not designing a new tank with that yet, so... Let's do a better machine gun. I think that could also help our big tank, having a better rate of fire and things like that. So we've got our engineers hard at work designing a better hull and also researching an MG. Meanwhile, we're shipping these tanks over the next eight days. And what's the... Oh, that's the contract. So we've got 18 days left. Or tanks to deliver eight days or tanks I'm not sure <laughs> can't wait to make tank equivalent to the homework car time is out for one of your contracts and the battalion regiment is now equipped with as many of your tanks that you managed to deliver I mean I delivered the whole thing so thank you for your prompt payment government Okay. There's a lot of uh, tank designs that are being made by all these rival companies. Are there any other contracts out there? No. Can I do anything to like... I don't know that anybody else has developed tank, tank regiments yet. Despite all the other companies doing stuff. I don't really know what to make of all that other stuff going on. Um, okay, so now we have money again. We're up to 700,000 or 680,000. Why is our balance lower than the 700? Does it take time for them to pay me the whole thing out? All right, our resources have arrived. Predicted balance is going up. Why? I don't know why. All right, let's also do some more component upgrades. I don't think we're going to change anything with the with the hull here. Yeah, we're not researching anything that would. But we did research the Mark II Sponsons with the better armor. Now that we got the better machine gun, I think we can go ahead and research. I don't know if there's anything that... I guess we could do... A better magazine for the Hodge Kiss. Is there a reason you wouldn't go with the the Hodge or the Hodge Kiss instead of the Lewis though? I think it's just a better gun overall. It's even cheaper. So this is like the rigid belt. The why can I not do this? So we could do like the the linked belt, which is definitely better. The linked belt has a higher anti-ricochet value. It is heavier, but it also has a higher damage value, so that would be better. That's two days. Design a better machine gun. Okay. 
Also, we do need to research that twin cylinder engine. Like, we don't... So this side-by-side -side engine is just generally better all around. So this is why, like, it would pay to have multiple assembly line slots at the research facility, because now I, I can only do one at a time, or the engineering bureau. bureau. And so let's go back to this tank design here, because I don't want to have to undercut on cost to win again. Also, if there's a war and, like, they embarrass themselves, we probably want to build... A better tank. So we need to do the other research first, but I think... change this make it a mark two it doesn't look like it. so there's no option to is there That I just I just updated it. Sure, what'll happen? Does it take time? Do I have to wait? Does it just automatically happen? No, it still has the Mark One hull. All I did was change the name. Yeah, so I'm assuming what you got to do is you go ahead and make a new series, create new design, and you just do it that way. Okay, not as clean as I had hoped. Let's. But makes sense. You can't just change core design elements and get a freebie. All right. So we have no other design con. Like, I don't know what the next contract is going to look like. I do know that my current tank design is probably not good enough. But I probably need to give it a few days so the engineering bureau can, like... We need to hire... We need to expand our production. Do we, though? Because I don't want to. Don't make me do that. Oh, I'm not. I'm not firing. I guess we can expand up to the max of 350. Like, I don't I don't really want to. Seems like it's going to expand my, my labor quite a bit. But being proactive is probably smart. Did I do the math wrong on that? Like way wrong? All right, so we've expanded the factory to 350 people. Let's expand the uh, engineers by 10 to 60. We 
We only have the one available administrator. Uh, whoops, not that. So I should also be researching. Can I expand the engineering bureau? I really need a second assembly line. How do I do that? I want more. Be nice if you could tell me how to do that. It doesn't seem to. Uh, if I go back to the administration, is there a spot where I can... Nope. Hmm. How do you expand the new lines? I don't know. All right, let's do more research stuff. I guess we do a light tank option too. Like we could, we can design a light tank to have one on the. Take a lot of time. What are the more immediate needs? Machine guns on the side turrets. Tracer munitions. Improved common shell. Already did the better petrol. Low pass running gear, I think, is for the smaller tanks, I think. Let's do that. If we're going to do a smaller hull, we're going to need a... Need a track they can run on. All right, Hotchkiss done researching. So did the Mark II for the hull. Mail spawns on Mark II also, we've done that. Six pounder, there's no upgrades here. Machine gun, we did the upgraded Hotchkiss. I'm just going to scrap the old one. There's no need to have that. I haven't even put it on a tank, so. Engines, we need to do that four-cylinder. These are just duplicates. All right, so let's research this. I don't think there's anything else I should be upgrading on here. I think these are all the best options. It's also considerably lighter, which is nice. What does the current tank we have use? Centipede Mark One or Warhorse Mark One? I'm assuming it's using Warhorse, but no, oh, it's using Centipede. Okay, so it is using. I think the better option. Oh no, the attribute's way better on this one. It's just heavier. Okay. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, all right. We've already done two. What do we need for that? Milling? Did it say? Oh, my God. So if we go back to engineering. 
Mark II requires... Where was it that it showed me what it was required to build these darn things? Uh, cutting focus. Milling focus and casting focus. Cutting, milling, casting. So let's get to work on that. We need to expand the uh, production hall. Cutting, milling, casting, was it? All right, we'll expand the production hall with those new buildings. And we'll move along. Predicted balance, 437. Jesus Christ, it's expensive. Major General Swenson today is sent to the Committee of Imperial Defense an official proposal for the expanded deployment of bulletproof caterpillars able to destroy enemy machine gun nests. I don't really want a new order quite yet, but I, I do need more money, so... Do I have enough? Let's just make sure we have enough. One of the th neat things you can do here is you can go to the warehouse and you can say, hey, I've got this tank I want to build. And I want to build however many of them. And when you select how many you want to build, over here on the right, it tells you if there's enough material to do that. Now, strangely, it, it's based off the country that you're possibly buying from. Um, when, like, I know... Up here, I have that amount uh, available. So I can go here and I can do 20 no more Mark One tanks. It'll take 17,000 iron. I have 25,000 iron over here. I have 12, it'll need 12,000 medium carbon steel. I have 20,000 of that. So, like, I've got sufficient resources for everything if I need to build another regiment worth of tanks. No filling shells with sand. Okay, low pass running gear is done. We could make a design of a medium tank, just in case an order comes through for that. We need to do the medium hull next, though, for that. Uh, light side feed machine gun, petrol. So let's do a medium hull. Doesn't cost anything, just takes man hours. We would need riveting focus, which I don't think we have yet. Oh yeah, we do. Okay. Right, engineering bureau, right, to go design that new stuff. So we've done the, the hull, it's up, it's been updated. By the way, it's funny that they've, they've got this little roof here thing. It's like, they, they know the javelin's coming before the javelin is here. Um, all right, so... I'm guessing that's to prevent someone throwing like a hand grenade up there and it just sitting and... Busting through the hole or something, maybe. Oh, we did the Hodge kiss. We got the twin cylinder. All right, so we've got the... Does the Warhorse have, like, any actual...
What does the Idler Mark III do? Cost less. Would we want to do an Idler Mark III? It has worse operational range, but better agility. So it's kind of a trade-off. It's considerably lighter, though. Okay. Sprockets for the track. Cross-country speed is worse. But agility and road speed are both better. Again, it depends what you're trying to go for. I don't actually think... So for a heavy tank, I don't think there's anything else we need to design. We got the better hull. Better upgrade on Sponson. Upgraded the machine gun. Upgraded the engine. And then we can upgrade the tracks. So I think I think the Butcher Mark II is ready to see the light of day. We could consider designing a Whippet series tank as well. So we could start designing a new tank. So we've got the Butcher Mark 1. We could do the Butcher Mark 2, which basically we use the Mark 2 hull, which is, has the better armor. We use this four-cylinder engine instead of the... So the, the six-cylinder has a... Where does it tell you what the mass limit is? 17,000. Interesting. But we've got the war horse, which is a better value. So, okay. So if we went with the six cylinder, we can carry more, can be a heavier tank. The four-cylinder has lower amount there, but it does have... It reduces the volume limit, so it's a smaller... Sort of takes up less space. Probably more reliable, too. Just overall, it's better. So with the Warhorse Mark I, it is... They are heavier tracks. So we'll have to consider if the volume ends up becoming a limit as we get this tank a little bit further along. Uh, male Sponson's two... Why does this say 0%? Did I not research these things yet? Crud. I don't think I did. Okay, so that would be the tank. We'd be in the yellow, so we don't have a ton of buffer on the weight but it's still comfortable or it's still within the regs so far anyway till we add all the crew and everything Okay. So we could even have a slightly smaller crew, a nine-man crew instead of a ten-man crew. I don't know that you'd have two commanders just so you meet that, that threshold. I 
I do think the turret male sponson two still needs to be researched or something along those lines. So the total mass is 30,716. The limit is 34,500. It has us firmly in the yellow, so it's sort of on the upper edge of what maybe you'd want. The crew limit is actually, it's, it's saying the crew is in the red. You probably don't want a crew in this hull this size of nine. Granted, out of my last tank, it was 10, so it was cramped. Probably want to have both AP and HG shells. Standard ammo. Petrol 47. We'll come up with a catchier name. JY. going to take 56 days to design is that because of the these things because they got a research yeah it's a big part of it anyway no not really i guess There's your tank. So this is basically just an upgraded version of our heavy tank, which we already designed. Complete the engineering of all components. Yeah, 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 okay. So we've got to do the uh, research. So we got to wait for the engineering bureau to open up in eight days and then we can go ahead and assign the, uh, let's go do that. Where was the sponsor thing, though? I don't remember seeing that anywhere on here. Oh, here. Oh, it was a draft. We didn't finish it yet. Okay, that's why. What's next after Butcher? I don't know. Okay, so apparently there's a new contract out. Which I'm guessing I won't be in good shape to win. All right, so what are the offers? Competitor offers Hector Mark One. Is this the same tank? Is this the same contract? I guess maybe they just want a second battalion of it. All right, their chances are 372 out of 410. Remember, I just dropped the price and I was like, yep, we want your tank. Three sixty-six. So, what was it again? Twenty-seven it was twenty-seven thousand. What we estimated it would cost, or no? That's what we bit. That's what we charged last time. Yeah, twenty-seven five. So we could do it again. Well, remember, Kia, we've hired more people since last time. 
So let's see here. We could do 27,500. A total bid of 550,000. So by the 1st of March, which gives us like three months. I mean, it's a fairly con comfortable-ish. It's like, what, three months? So we will get 550. It'll cost us 301,000 based on the rough estimate of material costs. It will take us 33 days to produce. Let's get a $200,000 profit there. Um, by the way, whip it. This is an hour ago, but thank you for the follow. Thirty-three days. I'd rather go with our newer tank that we're designing, but I'd also like to win the bid and not wait. Right. So sometimes you don't want to let perfect be the enemy of good. And we just tell them, hey, we can we can meet that price that we hit for you last time. Is 411 really comfortable? Oh, it is. Okay. Well, let's cut two days off. All right, we'll give myself to the first. I mean, 48 days, we got, we got plenty of time, frankly. We've got 59 days or so, so that gives us a comfortable, gives us a comfortable budget, sir, or gives us a comfortable window to play with. So let's do this. We're going to do March 1st is the order date. $27,500 for the, for the tank per tank should give us the win. You know, one interesting thing that would be nice. I really like the way that railroad tycoon two way back in the way. I know I'm going deep cut here. Had you compete with other railroads, but like, the other railroads could go out of business. They weren't just this nebulous threat. Like they actually, they had to operate on their own financial model. And I don't know that this game requires you to build enough tanks for that to work, but it'd be cool if there was a bit of corporate intrigue beyond just, Hey, let's reverse engineer their tank. Like if there were real stakes involved, I can go bankrupt. Why can't they, you know? Could offer to make more tanks. How much longer would it would it take if I wanted to produce more? So two tanks would add three days. Five tanks would add nine. I don't want to get too greedy. So 41 days would get me, I'd still have 56 days. So we've got three days left in December. We'll say two just to be safe. And then we've got 28 in February, so that's 30. You've got 30, January's 31, right? 31 in January, so you got 61 days. Can always pay, you can always pay more to speed up per, 
Well, there's the other one other factor. Capacity of delivery. So the sixty, twenty five. Okay. So if we do medium. Okay. 25 is the most I would want to produce just because I, I don't want to get into like, oh, this shipper can't ship more than 25. So if we go to the contract and we do five more at 20, 27, five. Well, I'll take the two extra days if, if you're going to give them to me without me changing the price. So 20 tanks, that's a $550,000 order. If I increase that order to 25, it's a $687,000 order. So it's $137,000 more at roughly 6,000 profit per tank. So that's, I mean, that's that's not insignificant. I'd say let's do that. 25 tanks at a cheaper price by the 3rd of March. Do it. Meanwhile, I'm going to assume that my perfect knowledge of the game is giving me the ability to just start building these now. So let's hope that we're right. And now we just burned through like all of our available resources too. So we're definitely going to need to order more stuff, but for the meantime, um, the administrators on the production line. So these guys are working on their stuff. So let's go ahead. Two more days. Right, where are we at with the contract? So maybe we'll find out soon. Did we research the last thing we need to research upgrades with? We just did the mail spawn some. We already did the whip it. Okay, in that case, do we design the new heavy tank two days after the order went through? There's only one competitor so far, Kia, but we've gotten news about other ones starting up, so I'm assuming there's more than one. I don't know if it's one per country or what, but... Okay, so Butcher Mark Two should be ready to research and go. All right, Butcher Mark II is now being researched. And with that being said, we've been going for almost an hour, so seems as good a time as any to go ahead and wrap this video up here. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. This is Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks, uh, taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel from the other night. Uh, but uh, without further ado, this is the Historical Gamer again, saying thank you for watching. Leave your thoughts below, and until next time, I'm out.